Hello, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for this one, folks. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard this one folks, before. <laughs> folks, there was an idea to make a parody of every Marvel movie in a pornographic light. That's what we're going to do here today. All of my <laughs> ideas for all three phases, plus some little bonus stuff. <laughs> Summaries <laughs> for every single... before you again, what? <laughs> I was gonna say, you know, as opposed to what... Well, go ahead and finish your thing. I don't remember what I was gonna say. What were you oh, gonna say? I was gonna say, you know, as opposed to the porn parodies now, where it's just add the title and write the word parody. They don't try anymore. I think it's so they can... they throw the word parody in there and they can just use the straight copyrights instead of worrying about trying to make things too different. It, it just ruins the fun. I, I know. Miss, I miss the fun. There's probably legalities that it that's gets covered. To. I'm sure that's exactly what it is. It's legal issues. But when I was writing this, I realized I'm really good at this and I missed my calling of being a porn director, apparently. <laughs> It's not marketer. too late. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's get started with phase one, I suppose. Right. We start with the first movie, Iron Jeremy. <laughs> Iron, Iron Jeremy. Where our main character, Pony Stiff, <laughs> builds a suit to give him the power of the greatest male porn star of all time, Ron Jeremy. Hilarity ensues, yeah. ensues and such. Sexiness <laughs> ensues. Of course, yes. I'm kind of wondering about the logistics of how that would actually work on screen. Yes. I don't know. Would it be like just a suit with like a peat metal, <laughs> like peat dildo piece? Or probably some fancy, crazy crod piece thing, and then you like put spray painted plates on them or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Because we probably have to go a little budget and crap. Because, <laughs> yeah. I, don't know, I mean, it depends on what studio makes it. There's yeah. a high budget porn out there. That'd be some really ridiculously high budget porn, though. If, if you went <laughs> there is some ridiculously high budget porn out there. That's not that I would know. Well, the next the next one in the line, we have Doctor Doctor Richard Boner. He's a loser in life and in love until one day he is bombarded with triple X-rays. I like it. <laughs> during, That's good. During an ac accident. Now, whenever he is turned on, he becomes the insatiable hunk. <laughs> so is it Richard instead of Bruce because Richard because Bruce is too gay of a name? Well, I also Dick, so, you know, <laughs> yeah. Richard, Dick, Dick Boner. Well, that's why they changed his name from Bruce Banner and the... Uh, yeah. Lou Ferrigno series is because Bruce was too gay of a name. I just did it. They kept it as his middle name, though. <laughs> I did it because, well... Ah. <laughs> it goes on to... The next movie is was, was Iron Man 2, so it's like right back to Iron Jeremy. Uh, well, Only this yeah, time. Yeah, but that, that's because I'm very popular. Is that popular? I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Anyway, Pony Stiff's status is challenged. Uh, his status of being the great best porn star alive is challenged in this movie by Boris the Russian Lovehammer. <laughs> 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 Which man yeah. get really kinky because he's got the whips. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Getting to some kinky places here. Yeah. Finally, we're getting into some interesting stuff of Phase One, because in because in the mythical land of Asgard, the prince Sor and his brother Pokey go to the realm of the giants to cruise for big blue babes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was thinking if you gender swapped, you could just call the character whore. Yeah, but I didn't. <laughs> it's well, so, stuff, he's, the, he's the mighty sore. But you gotta put some female characters in here somewhere. Turns out the Marvel Universe is kind of a sausage fest. <laughs> it kind of is. It's like, most of the... See, so far, what I had in mind is the female characters are the background ones that the heroes do stuff to, you know? <laughs> <But> <laughs> to be fair. And now we've got Private America. 
In World War II, feminazis threatened. <laughs> I wrote this in this spot. <laughs> One more two. Feminazi, feminazis threaten the free, loving, free world. <laughs> oh, our only hope is a young man in an experimental super stud formula. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got through that without okay, being. Okay, so what's he have instead of a shield? <laughs> <laughs> One can only imagine. <laughs> oh, boy. And it gets really weird when he gets to. Infinity War, he's got the wrist mounted. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's just he's, these ones. Well, you know, he's double fisting now. <laughs> and this all comes together at the end of phase one as they unite as the up in hers. Pokey returns with his crew to steal all of Earth's fine tail. <laughs> and it's up to Iron Jeremy, the mighty so uh, she's mighty sore. <laughs> the Insatiable Hunk, Private America, Cockeye, <laughs> and the Black Bimbo to stop him as the up <laughs> By the way, I have here as a note, Black Bimbo is Natasha Blow Ya Off. Oh, boy. <laughs> See, once again, I'm wondering about the technical aspects of, you know, <laughs> Cockeye's bow. <laughs> Does he just have, like, a revolving thing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> See, I only wrote these. I mean, the logistics of it, I didn't think that much about. I ran these summaries out in like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna be the pitch man, somebody's gotta. Be. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, I'm pretty sure most porn parodies get pitched in about an hour. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, it's not the I've... only. It's not the only thing that gets pitched, but. <laughs> <that's true. laughs> It's like, porn, porn goes from elevator pitch to who can we hire on the budget. Yeah. On to phase two, with Iron, Iron Jeremy 3, where Pony must deal with the legendary sexual prowess of the so-called Mandrillon. <laughs> Instead of Mandrillon. Yes. Mandolin. Yes. Mandarin, yeah. Yeah. Kept trying to say Mandrill, and it's like, no, that's the parody name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we got Soar, the Dick World. <laughs> Soar and Pokey team up to deal with an invasion of horny dick elves. <laughs> hmm. I'm <laughs> funny. I'm trying to figure out something that's funny with Malakath, but I just. <laughs> Maltikus? I don't know. <laughs> Not his name, just the concept. See, uh -huh. the thing is, the comic, we have like a half black, half white thing, which can get really interesting, but he's all black in the in the movie. He doesn't do the half white elf, half dark elf thing, yeah. because apparently the cinematic universe is lame. So we have to have like, <laughs> the, our version have like a half white porn star, half black To be star. fair, Malekith in general in the cinematic you was lame. Yeah, that's true. That movie was just lame. It was, and not, not necessary. It completely... Uh, yeah. Other than they introduced the uh, Power Stone. Yeah. That's the whole reason. That's it. Just, but, <laughs> just to watch that segment and move on. But now, uh, the digression from Trash in the MCU. Yeah. We, next up, we've got... Mar Private America, the bimbo soldier. The feminazis return with the private's ex-girlfriend given a, a special treatment of her own. <laughs> Is she a match for our hero, and can she be saved? And a machine arm. Well, you know, <laughs> there's, go there's gonna be weird attachments. <laughs> now, next we have the Guardians of Depravity. <laughs> Across the galaxy, a group of sexy misfits keep the universe from becoming too boring and prudish. I am mean, not going you know, yeah. to make a comment about Ronan's hammer, but yeah. 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 jokes with <laughs> turning these weapons into sexual attachment. <laughs> I am Groot. Yeah. Uh, then the least... Uh, least memorable of the uh, uh, Avengers movies is next. Here we have Up In Hers, Page of Porntron. I don't even want to know what a porn robot connected to the internet would be like. That would just... 
What I have here, a sentient AI creates an addictive porno website in an attempt to enslave mankind. It's up to the offenders to show the world that real sex in person is better and defeat Pordron. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, since Ultron was connected to the internet, yes. this would probably be the most accurate yeah. of all of them. Yeah. And this is like the first time we actually have a hero plot in all of these pitches I have so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Guardians of Depravity, kind of. Okay. And basically the plot of Orgasmo. Fair enough. Yeah. Just make keeping things interesting. Alright. Next, we have Ass Man. An ex-thief gains gear that allows him to change the size of anyone's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you see, I, I would have gone with a little comic book and just made him giant man. Well, with ten particles all had to grow. A certain part of well, his anatomy. Yes, you know. A uh, little side mention here, because around the same time, we had the uh, X-Men movies that were going the on. The reboot movies. Those X-Men movies, yeah. Yeah, the, the reboot ones. First Class. Um, right. But the, oh, they, Days of Future Past. They were going on at the, around this time, and Disney had bought the rights now. So now they're they're not exactly in the fold. But I'm going to mention. Does Disney have X Men in the rights? Yeah, in a fashion, sort of, from what I've heard. Because I, I, it's been a while since I've heard, but the last I heard, the rights to X Men were still in flux because it wasn't a complete buyout. In any case, I know they have the rights to the Fantastic Four. Yes. yes. Uh, in case. But just in case, I may, mm -hmm. I have mentions but not summaries. I just have titles. I have Sex Men First Ass, <laughs> Sex Men Lays a Future Ass, and the one I'm most proud of, Sex Men A Cocktailips. I like it. I think <laughs> yeah. that's a good one. Yay. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Phase three. Phase three. Private America Anal Whore. <laughs> Instead of Civil War. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Tensions between the uphinners escalate as they meet a particularly wild woman. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to fight over this thought. That's about it. <laughs> Doctor Strange Kink. <laughs> Not Doctor Strange Love? Is that already a thing? Doctor yeah. Strange loves a thing. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it has an alternate title. It's like how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. I mean, well, it hasn't been, it... Had been made by some no-name director, right? Probably. Stanley Kubrick. Yeah, yeah some no-name no director. Nobody cares yeah. about. <laughs> anyway, Doctor Strange King. Doctor Even Stranger <laughs> had, had an accident in. Had, had an accident, and went to see a group of monks whose bizarre sexual habits brought life back to his crotch. That's right. That's the part of the plot of Andrew. <laughs> With his new kinks, is he the sexual equal to the otherworldly demon, Hormammu? <laughs> Hormammu, I've come to freak. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's some really, really weird stuff with the time stone. Yeah, yeah. Like, Alright, let's try this again. Yes. <laughs> they just like, where's the warm mom out? Yeah. Guardians of the Pravity 2. Oh my god. Point two. The Guardians must foil the prudish plans of TiVo, the living censor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sounds so, like a fun caper movie. Yeah, some of these are just, you know, around. Here we go. <laughs> tighter, tighter man, bone coming. <laughs> I can hardly get past the title one. It's that problem, though. Anyway. <laughs> when oh. does the blood come out? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but he's Peter Pucker. <laughs> Peter Potter receives special homosexual powers and, and attempts to defeat the culture and make sex free for everyone. <laughs> you know, gay porn exists. So. Yeah. That's why Tighter Man exists. <laughs> uh, next is Sore Shagnarok. <laughs> 
Asgard faces its last days as Hellified appears to send Soar to a sex slave planet. Yeah, she, yeah. she sends Soar to a sex slave planet and begins an orgy so massive it could destroy Asgard itself. Stupid sexy hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next stop. I'm totally gonna be called a racist for this again. Because <laughs> we're talking about this movie again, sort of. Yeah, it's probably better than the actual movie. But, uh, Black Manhood. It's a Black Panther. Mm -hmm. In the hidden country. You call it Black Mamba. <laughs> I could have. <laughs> I feel stupid now. <laughs> Oh, you're right! Uh, in the hidden country of Wakafia. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> Wait for people to settle down. Are we 13? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wakafia forever! <laughs> What's their salute, Josh? <laughs> The king, Chahala, fights to keep his throne and save, show the world that blacker is better. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> There's a special material called Vibratorum. <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't have to write that in the summary. <laughs> but yeah, Vibratorum. <laughs> this whole suit's made of Vibratorum. <laughs> vibratorum, that's right. <laughs> oh. oh, here's a big one. Up in hers, virginity war. <laughs> Where the space stud Phallos. <laughs> Boy. Oh, yeah. It means dick. <laughs> six, six, sec six, yes, instead of, we're gonna say special because it's written special, but six sexual stones. Yeah, that's way better, dude. Yeah. yeah. That will allow him to make all of the guys permanently soft, leaving him the only stud in the universe. It's up to the up in hers and the guardians and others to stop him. Does Thor have to get a new hammer in this? Oh, kind of oh yeah! Instead of Honier, <laughs> instead of Honier, he has to make Horbreaker. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And the the cod pieces and. Peter Dinklage will probably star in it too. Well, you know, he's yeah. in everything. Exactly. And he kind of fits in everything too. Tiny hands. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. But yep. Yeah, I have to. You have to stop Fallows. You. uh... You should have given me head. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. As <laughs> we finish everything up with Ass Man and the Milf. <laughs> We're gonna get flagged for this, you know, right? We'll see! <laughs> we'll see! The question would be really funny is if this is a video that makes our channel take off. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you never know! <laughs> In a weird way, I almost plan it. <laughs> At the same time, I don't know for sure. Anyway. Ass Man in the Milf. Set just before Virginity War, Scott Long teams up with a mature hottie to stop a villainess called the Nympho and save her from her affliction. That's okay, they save ghosts from her. Yeah. So, yeah. Does it also require a white woman's magic touch to fix it? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good for great ratings. That would be great for ratings. Great for ratings. <laughs> that's, all I, that's all I had. For well, time. of course, you know, the idea you'd pitched before that I mentioned in passing, the Fucktastic Four. They do own the Fucktastic Four now. That is true! That, that is like, that is like, probably got Dr. Boob or something, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I think they did get Poon. the rights to... Dr. Poon! There you go. I think they did get the rights to the X-Men. They might have. It's been a while since I've last heard. <laughs> now everybody's talking about Henry Cavill quitting as Superman. Actually, the last thing I heard, he was uh, 
wanting to do another Superman movie. Uh, I heard a sequel, but this time just him. So I heard uh, just earlier this week people oh. talking about he quit because he's on a TV show and he wants to focus on this TV show he's on or making or whatever. He wants to grow a mustache without it being ex <laughs> CGI'd out. Yeah, I mean it looked dumb, but it wasn't as bad as everybody talked about. Yeah, I never noticed until people actually said something. Then I I thought was... something looked weird with his face, but I didn't. Yeah, until people threw a big fit about it. I didn't notice. Yeah. yeah. Which goes to show you, we shouldn't have Joss Whedon do reshirts of movies anymore. I'm gonna go out and say it, I don't think Joss Whedon is as good as I people think he is. I don't think either. Buffy is great. I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Dr. Horrible was a lot of fun. I liked Firefly, but... He's good at stuff like that. I thought I liked Firefly the first time I saw it. Upon, re, upon rewatching, does the cracks in the armor become very it's, apparent? It doesn't live up past the second view. I, mean, I don't agree with that. <laughs> and we all know how Dollhouse did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or we don't, because nobody's heard of it. Because it was shit. Alright, that's that's gonna be it. I just had a little fun, but I'm, at the very least, I made these guys laugh. <laughs> and, uh,. Until we come up with the next crazy idea, uh, this is our round table, and uh, see you around.